So the final unit of this model uh, is looking at the efficiency in resource uh, use. So is collecting the money, whether from internal sources or from external sources, whether from informal or formal sources. That's not the issue. The efficiency in the use of those resources is very paramount. Resource efficiency, you know, is the is the art of maximizing the outflow of uh, the resources you have in your business. The supply of money, the materials, the staff, and other assets that can be drawn on by a person or organization in order to function effectively with my, uh, minimum wastage of uh, resources. That's what the resource efficiency is all about. It's not just about money. It's about material and human resources. If you look at your personnel and you take uh, in, in your private business, I know government can do that, but in private sector, if you don't put the right person in the right job, you are wasting your resources. You have to do the recruitment rightly and put the right people in the right job. Sometimes in the use of uh, even the raw materials, there's no point experimenting with fake material. Buy the real material rather than getting fake material. Sometimes you finish using it and they don't turn out well and you have to condemn everything. So why don't you right from onset get quality materials to do your business and when you do that you have uh, done justice to the issue of material so we talk about uh, material we talk about staff even the supply of uh, money there's no point borrowing money to to pay salary now you don't borrow money to pay salary that's consumption you borrow money to production, assuming that you produce uh, maybe plates, plates. You produce plates, and the quantity of plates you produce, you sell them at a certain price, and the money is not enough. You can borrow money to put in raw material if you can, because when you sell, you make the profit and repay easily, but you don't borrow money to to uh, for uh, to to spend for consumption like uh, salaries or go and borrow money to pay electricity those are the wrong uh, borrowing that's the wrong use of uh, resources so we are talking about efficiency it's different from effectiveness if it's effective you are doing the right thing it's working but if you are efficient you are doing things right right brings about efficiency doing the right thing is effective this is what is supposed to be and that's what you are doing you are doing the right thing so effectiveness and efficiency they are two different but related uh, related uh, elements in the research maximization of a business other assets that can be drawn from the organization in order to function effectively and like i said when you put the right human resources then they cannot waste your things whether wastage of money if you or, or, or if you employ a redundant person is a waste of resources you waste the manpower which that person could have given to the company and waste the salary you are paying to the person sometimes people come they bring family members to business because it's your brother or your sister you bring the person the person doesn't know anything about the business so after paying the person's salary you still pay another person to do <coughs> the job of your relation so it's double loss and wastage of uh, resources for your business. 
So one reason why companies end up compromising their profits is due to inefficiency in the use of resources at hand. It's the same what I'm talking about, the same thing. So whether it's in terms of recruitment, whether in terms of money supply or material, when you, you do the wrong thing for the right reason, you can end up compromising the profit you could have gotten and you incur double loss. So, in conclusion, with the efficient utilization of resources, business can grow in heights of success. So, until we meet again, keep reading, keep reading.